So this was another box only pickup, but um, I did recall what it was before I cheated and looked on the, um, the underside of the stand thusly. Because as I've mentioned in other videos, this is a good way to check out what it is you're looking at if you're not sure. If you only, if you get just get a, a boxed one only, then you can discover what the ship is by getting rid of the, the blue element of the box and looking at the bottom of the stand. And this is a Voff city ship. Now, this is from an episode of Voyager. Um, I haven't actually looked up which episode. It may be something to do with um, evolution because um, it was a really interesting episode. Basically, Voyager got um, invaded was isn't the right really the right word, but it was boarded by a couple of um, dinosaur based. Um, investigators who were just doing scientific research ironically much as it Voyager itself would do most of the time but as it turned out their their genetics actually stemmed from earth dinosaurs but they were clearly significantly advanced and they went around the ship with sort of personal cloaking devices and were eventually discovered and um, as with their scout ship but it turned out that their civilization was was massively advanced and as I recall, there's this incredible scene where Voyager is actually beamed up inside this ship wholesale. So they literally just beam an entire starship inside their starship. And it's like, okay, we're in trouble now, kids, because that's, 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 that's not a straightforward thing for someone to do, you would think. Um, I mean, in theory, it's possible. And we have seen, I remember in Star Trek Nemesis, we saw a shuttlecraft beamed wholesale on board the Enterprise. I mean, it's, it's always been established as something that's doable, but you would obviously need a, a huge amount of energy to beam an intrepid class starship into another starship. Um, tactically, I'm not sure it's very sound at all, because as we've also seen, that's the sort of thing that generally leads to people ejecting their warp core inside you and all that sort of good stuff. But anyway, I digress. So um, it was a nice idea. So basically, you know, these dinosaurs had actually left Earth millennia ago and had migrated out to the um elsewhere i was gonna get my wrong then i always do that with Voyager. so as a result um they had progressed well well beyond our our sort of point of technology or at least the voyager's point of technology to be able to deal with them and they were quite they were quite aggressive about it um they weren't terribly sympathetic to to the mammals basically at all and so the, the scientists who were on board Voyager were, were far more sympathetic, but their ruling caste was not. And in fact, the, as, ah, that's right. So there was, um, there was a sort of philosophical block. So the scientists believed that they had come from Earth originally, but their doctrine said that they hadn't, that they'd sort of, in the, they'd sort of always been, maybe sort of always been spacefaring or had basically never been lower life forms or, or you know some, something along those lines so his theory that they had originated in the alpha quadrant was basically heretical um, and so they, they couldn't let voyager stand so eventually so he renounced his beliefs um in order to let uh, voyager survive and continue on its journey home because had he not done that they probably would have um, got rid of voyager wholesale as well which they clearly had the power to do had they chosen to so it was, you know, but there wasn't actually a lot of Voyager you could do in the episode to alter its its fate. And I really like the um, the paintwork on this one, I like sort of the the blue swirls and things on it, which I think you can see quite clearly there. The, the um, it's really that's a really beautiful ship. It hasn't really occurred to me to pick it up before, um, but they were very reasonably priced, as I remember. So it's it's got a lot of really nice detail on it. It's kind of it's one of those ones where it's hard to draw. I think I think the bottom, this bottom segment here is plastic, but the top half is is, is kind of die cast um, or whatever they're using these days. So there's a little bit of weight to it, but not a huge amount. But I really think I mean that's that's a really really lovely ship, and it it typifies what was going on with sort of Voyager towards the later episodes. I think where they were more confident with using the CGI of the ship designs because you'd never have done that with a model. Um, you know, it's a very sort of curved, sleek feeling ship, but it's it's all CGI. So really nice though. Um, I'm quite 
I don't have a, a slot in my um, my sort of Voyager uh, shelf, if you like, to to do anything with that particularly. But I might I might think about swapping something out for it because it is rather nice. I have that one. I need more shelves. One or two. Uh, so that is that is it for that one. One of Voyager's more intimidating foes, and um, you know they really were quite quite threatening. I mean, you sort of you got a real sense of threat that they do. The matriarch really just didn't give her stuff, and she would have got rid of uh, Voyager quite happily, given half a chance. So interesting episode. If you um, if you can find it, if you Voth, as you saw in the bottom of the stand, V O T H. So just search that up, and I'm sure you'll you'll find details of the episode from that. Cheers for now.